Uh, Shalom, first and foremost, I give all praises, on and glory. Uti Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kagadash. The bond to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. And peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect. That are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom. And this, um, this lesson going to be going to John 3.16. Right? It's not going to be like a deep breakdown or nothing, but you know, just getting some precepts. To just show that it can't mean what the world means. Well, it cannot mean what the world think it means. <laughs> you see? So let's just get straight into it. This is John 3.16 for the Most High, or God. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, which true name is Yahweh Shah, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So it says, for the most I so love the world. Okay, so now people take that scripture literally like, hey, the most I love is everybody. He got all love for every human being on the planet Earth. Earth. But wait a minute. When you go to Romans... 9 and 13, it says, as it is written, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hated. Whoa. Hey, what that's talking about? Hey, because he just said back in John three sixteen, right? It says, but God so loved the world. But hey, but he said he, he hated Esau. But then, too, if you go to Malachi, uh, 1, 1, and four it says where is Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh foes, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. So this is a people. Esau Edom, not just Esau himself. Just people. You see. So what's going on here? Because he said here up here in Malachi 2, it says, Malachi 1 and 2, I have loved you, said Yahweh, yet ye say, wherein as thou loved us, was not Esau Jacob's brother? I said Yahweh, yet I love Jacob. So he's saying the same thing over. <laughs> then you go to Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. You see, so when did the Most High change his mind about that? You see, when did he ever say that he loved all nations? Malachi 3 and 6, for me, how will I change not? Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, so the Most High don't change. You see, so when you go to John three sixteen, how could he so love the world, everybody, if he <laughs> just saying he... He don't even deal with anybody else, right? The Most High is not even the God of everybody else. Let me see. How is he? How is he sending you? How was shot for the whole world? That don't even make sense. Joel two and twenty-seven. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am how with your power and none else. And my people should never be ashamed. You see, so he said, "I'm your power. I'm your God. Nobody else." So how could he sent his son, right? Let's go back to it. Let's go back to it real quick. John three sixteen. For the most I so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So why would he send his son onto people that he was not dealing with? That he never dealt with. Because he only he was only the God of the Israelites, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And it shows this all throughout the scriptures. He's only been dealing with Israel. Even when it says the Gentiles that's receiving salvation, that's the Israelite foreigners. Israelites that were living like heathen, right in the mind, had heathen ways. Right? But there's their line and their bloodline goes back onto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? No matter what they were doing on the outside, these were Israelites, right? But they were called Gentiles. 
See, we push this for the most I so look for God so love the world. But if you how was was sent for everybody. Let's see. John seventeen and nine. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Right? So why he saying I pray not for the world? You see, so hey, it's not talking about that. Now, if you have some understanding, you know that this this word "world" is in the cos is this Greek in the cosmos, right? Basically, it's like an orderly arrangement, or like a a segment out. Basically, like a small portion out of a larger portion. You see, like if you wanted to take, if you had one big piece and you take one slice out of it, right? That's Israel. That's the cosmos, right? But even within Israel, you have the elect. You see, that in this week, this is what Yahweh Shah was talking about right here, right? You know, so he said, for God so loved the world, the world of Israel. That's what that's talking about, right? He says, so he loves First John 4. And 10, it says, herein is love. Not that we love the most high. So, like, look, this is love. But that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins, right? An atonement and healing for our sins. So, if he never dealt with any nation, how could he send his son for the sins, right? For the law that was not given unto them. So, you go to 1 John 3. And four, it said, whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. And we know that the laws are only given unto the children of Israel. And those are facts. You see? So how could he send his son for those sins of people he was never, never dealing with? This is Amos 3. And one, hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, all your sins. So, you only have I known. See, so, hey, what they, what these people be saying don't even make sense. That doctrine is foolishness. All right, John 3, 16, for I so loved the world, for the most I so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For the most high sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So who was he sent unto? Said the most high sent him into the world. Matthew fifteen, twenty four. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right, and he so this is what he was this is what he was sent unto. The Lord always used to say that the doctrine that he received and the teachings and the things that he received were from the Father, not of his own. So he was sent to be that that atonement, that sacrifice for Israel. See, when John seen him, he said, Behold, the Lamb of the Most, I will take away the sins of the world. That's talking about the actual world of Israel. That's, that's everybody. He died. For the sins of all Israelites. Right? If you like that's that's the, 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 the bigger I guess for I guess I can say it like that. Uh the bigger picture, I guess. You wanna look at the bigger picture he did, he died for all Israelites, but on this side is just for the elect. That's why I say I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for those that thou has given me, the elect. See, so he said he sent, he was sent into the world, but right here he said he was only sent unto Israel <laughs> to be that atonement for his sins, Matthew 1 and 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou, and thou shalt call his name Behold Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. <laughs> See, that's simple. He going to save his people from their sins. So this is what he was sent into the world for. Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem and the Lamb of Judah. 
are not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of these shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. You see, plain. This is his people. His people are the Israelites. And the Israelites needed a the Savior. They need to be saved from their sins. The other nations, they need to be saved from sin because they wasn't living in sin. Because they did not have the law to sin. Simple. All right. John 3 and 16. For the for God so loved the world that he gave all that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The most I loved Israel, and he gave up, he he gave and he sent Yahweh Shai. Alright, last scripture. Isaiah 9 6 for unto us a child is born. Unto us, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government, there shall be no end. His kingdom will be forever upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever. The zeal of Yahweh of hosts will perform this. Yahweh said they word into Jacob and he had lied it upon Israel. You see, so back to Isaiah 9 and 6 says, For unto us, the us is talking about the Israelites. A child is born, unto us a son is given. You see, the most I let me see. To us a son is given, for the most I so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Just talking about Israel. So with that I Hope whoever watching this video was edified. Shalom.